what's the problem <laughs> with up, Jerry? That? His dog's name is Barry, dude. Yeah, yeah. What's Barry's, the problem with Barry's the human? more dog. That's not like you don't really see many human Barry. I'm talking like, like, <laughs> hey, that's Steve, and it's like a greyhound. <laughs> that's like, what Ted. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, dude, flowers, you know, so like that. My last dog was named Millie. <laughs> with, that's, a that's a girl. That's a real. That's a yeah, 50 Millie, Millie, whatever. Millicent. In the Netherlands, I hung out with like an old friend, right? And we took his dog out in like the woods or whatever, and his dog was named uh, Case, like C A A S, which in Dutch is effectively like John. And that's the most oh, really? popular dog name. Huh. Really? Yeah. John. Case. <laughs> I think not that in, name. In the States, I think Max is one of the most popular dog yeah. names. Dakota's pretty popular for a dog name. I've is heard, it really? I've heard it. Oh, my dog's named Dakota. Like, yeah, you're, all you're the, at the dog all park, the Dakota. Time. I, well, yeah. <laughs> yep. Dakota that, that has happened. For, for I, I like, would you agree? Like, <laughs> if you think about like a human named Dakota, right? Yeah. I feel like you've got to be like chill. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever met a dick named Dakota? No. I haven't met a Dakota who was older than me. I feel I like have. I'm the old. I say this all the time. I feel it's like I'm the name. oldest Dakota on the planet right now. I've met younger Dakotas. I've not met an older Dakota. Yeah. And, and Lots it, of females. It's, it's like, a girl name in the south. It's like advertising, right? Like my parents did drugs. My name's Dakota. Am I right? Actually, you are pretty close <laughs> to that. I don't know why. Every, I, I don't know why everyone else would decide to name their kid Dakota. Maybe they're like, "Oh, it's native or Indian for friend," which apparently it is. Oh, there you go. But my dad and my parents, well, he was just a big um, John Lennon fan. So oh. naming in front of the buildings, the Dakotas, where he was assassinated. <laughs> so he was, he was a Woodstock oh. man. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, my parents were huge hippies, Dude, for damn sure. Is Woodstock still around? Is it gone, or is it just lower? I don't think so. It's I Now it's just dude. like... Uh, I think it's Dunzo. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever big the music last festival. One. What's the biggest music festival you'd say like right now is going on? Oh. Like Coachella? No, yeah. It's it's Coachella. Uh, oh, Coachella is... I mean, it's probably the biggest, though. I don't I'm, not, I'm not a big... I don't know. I, I'm, not, Co- I'm not hip this, with the okay. music festivals uh, uh, there. Kyle, up. please tell Coachella me. Coachella is just everything wrong with festivals, okay? Oh, oh no. Festivals are about... <laughs> what's the festival? Are you Burning Man yet? No. <laughs> That's even become a little, like, what's the word? It's too commercialized, right? Oh, it's yeah. not supposed to yeah. be something you take, like, a cell phone to and you dress up in your little costume and, like, try and look at all the celebrities. It's about having a good That's time, true. meeting some strangers, like, dancing, like, enjoying life, okay? Primal. Embracing the moment, not going up to this cool Insta wall to, like, take more That's selfies. Well, like, at EDC, you don't even have phone coverage. It was nice, so you just... You got to talk to people. Yeah. It's great. I liked it. It was just like me and Merlin. We just made a yeah. bunch of new friends. It's true. It, it's it's about the, the idea of festivals is like to sort of Socialize. experience it with yeah. a bunch of strangers and like kind of mm. like feel good with all these new faces that you aren't necessarily going to keep in touch with forever. Yeah. Like everyone at home right now together watching some quality Dota here. And yeah. I can't believe yeah. it's not Summit. We have a draft underway, ready to go. Magnus, which Grant had mentioned at the start of the show, is going to be a popular pickup, is here for Alliance to go with Shadow Shaman, and we have No Pango picking up the old classic Wisp Gyrocopter mm. combo. Has taken over the new spot of, like, what what Tiny Wisp used to be. Yeah, pretty much. See, the I mind games work, though. First band techies, they had to. So they, they let through. They just both wanted OP heroes, right? Uh, is Magnus, he got nerfed again, right? Point E or point two point zero E. e. Like, he lost some of the cleave and damage on his W, right? I don't mm-hmm. think Io. Io got a little, but I don't know. I still think Io's the most broken hero. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's him and then Syllabare. Io's just good. Which is crazy to think for how lose. long he's been considered an OP hero in the game of Dota himself, you know? It's just it, like It's skills. the concept. Yeah, it's you know? the kit. Mm-hmm. Like, anything that provides that much map utility, in addition, like, you know, think about a mech and how much more value it is when there's a Wisp. Yeah. Like, you can't compete with that mechanic. There's yeah. You can't replicate Even it. Even like you an can't urn, counter, right? It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It feels yeah. like a mech. Yeah. yeah. That's what good it is. But, yeah. you know, Isrock puts himself in these positions. He comes out with these heroes that have all these, like, extremely unique mechanics, and mm. they seem so cool. And you don't want to take away such an awesome, unique feature of these heroes, but they're so unique that they just could be game-breaking in a way. Well, they are. Easily just taken advantage of. The problem is it's, like, at a pro level they are, right? Yep. Because if you're good enough, it, it's very difficult to deal with, but it's still going to be one of those heroes that, Publicly is like thirty percent win rate because well, you gotta you gotta love that about Dota as well yeah. too. It's like then they can go engineer all these unique strategies and ideas in the dark, mm. pull what it out the in the hell? big show, and then everyone gets to see what Dota is really all about. Mm. Oh, all right, just this a man's man. Sven? I think it is, but there's no way you pick a Sven right after Gyro if it's not support. I hope has a support Sven been picked up since seven point two zero? Yes, it was theory crafted just based on all the changes. I think Roger played it a bunch. That's mm. about it though. So CIS obviously. Yeah, I mean, it's all about the war cry. I think movement speed armor. This is, I think, most likely a Mickey or Boxy Monkey King. 
I know Koifa plays the mag every once in a while as well. But uh, probably more likely it's just the last pick mid hero. We'll see. Grimstroke plus Shadow Shaman, double hex, double. Sh How does double shack work? Does it? Yeah. It does. does does it like come from his body, or where does a shackle <laughs> come from? Right? I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? I actually want to see it. Like he's like, yeah, I don't know. Like, no he spurts out yeah. another two hands and yeah, then just suddenly like, shackle in. Because it does work. I but huh. the heya teya double. Dude, Grimstroke glitch is still. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Grimstroke glitch is by far the most broken I, yeah. support duo. I really like it against Wisp Gyro too. I'm surprised they didn't. Yeah. Shadow Shaman. I mean, that's Alliance, right? They like playing early game, and Shadow Shaman does that better. I like what No Pango did here. It's a bit unconventional, but I feel like you're gonna have a really easy time, like just kiting the big team fight bubbles of Alliance. Mm. Sven is most likely going a max Warcry. I think it's super solid. Like it's so much armor, and it's got 60% uptime. They have a lot of utility coming together for No Pango. Mm -hmm. If this is gonna be a support Sven, I would be a little nervous about their damage output. I guess if Gyro really gets huge, then that's mm -hmm. not a problem at all. But, you know, just how they're going to be able to siege through their game. I don't like, doubt that they have a lot of fighting power for sure. I like how they're set up with these two beefy kind of initiator, frontliner, like peeling types. And then you've got the Wisp Gyro to kind of sit in the back. A lot of ways to make sure that Gyrocopter is safe and getting off black cannons. Man, I wonder, you know, it has to feel bad from CS. You see in this, no Pangolier. They got two people from Odium. Man, Lil really fell off, right? That was the team he made. And then this team, two of these guys are like, eh, we'll just go get first seed, well, beat VP, and qualify it, for TI. That's because Dota, Dota is a, a purist's eSport, all right? You know, maybe in Counter-Strike, you can make a, a brand, a name for yourself. Lil became like an Instagram star. And you just True. can't – that's like another career when it comes to Dota. you got to be dedicating 8 to 10 hours a day if you want to stay on top. Yeah, that's why people shouldn't get mad at Arteezy, right? Like, if he doesn't want to stream because he wants to get better at the game, well, no, don't let him. You don't can't play him. your don't best hate the player. Dota. Don't hate the player. Well, you can. I mean, I don't care if you hate him, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Um, yeah. I, um, yeah, I mean, that's so unique. I mean, I always say that to when I try to talk about esports to people who don't really know what's going on, and I mm. compare like Twitch and all that stuff. It's like you're not going to get opportunities to go watch like LeBron and Kobe like play street ball and just mm. be there from the cage on the outside. And go, hey Kobe, by the way, what's your favorite pizza? Hey, you know, Kobe, stuff. you're a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. suck, by the way. And yeah. then they're going to interact with you. That that's awesome. And you it's give like, it you know. a few years though, that's going to disappear. It could. And people it are going to miss it, and they're going to be like, man, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have been such dicks when we had total access to all these personalities. Yeah, it's, now it's we're crazy. Standing I mean, line, like, can you please sign my shoes? And it's gonna it's <laughs> gonna be like once per year. You won't ever be able to get you know a T I the uh, the late game was super chill because yep. you know we just go to the bar, hang out with random fans, like mm -hmm. chill. It's a good time. That's not going to happen anymore. You're going to get too famous. It's going to get out of control. Yeah, I already am. I refuse to talk to fans if it's not through my DMs. So <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering, don't you're not getting anything. Schedule. Inside. Yeah, schedule through the DMs. Five bucks a signature, fifteen bucks a picture. It's I whatever. had to work through Grant's manager <laughs> to get him here, yeah. and he had some ridiculous <laughs> demands. It was actually yeah, ridiculous. no mayonnaise. And then when I got here, I swear I saw mayonnaise, but it yeah. wasn't. Oh, it was God. just some other white thing. Who? It was glue. Dude, in <laughs> Europe, whoa, whoa, hold and on. And I love glue. You want to know? In Europe, <laughs> in Europe, they use mayo on their fries, dude. It's yeah, yeah. Like, fancy, fancy mayo sauce, is right? what comes with the fries. Wait, it's mayo, not like like aioli. you dip. It's, no, it's, it's mayo. It's like mayo. It's, why? It's yeah. gross. Right. I don't know. I see I why. It. It. But they don't have that in Russia. I see. That's they why missed in, in Canada. They like meet oh. in the middle, and it's like ketchup mayo fancy sauce. Right? It's weird. Yeah, I'm also not into that. I just hate mayo. I just legitimately I it hate it more gross. than anything in the world. I it it, it I would agree. <laughs> it's probably I. I'm over it more condiments. Than if it was go to jail for a year or eat mayo yeah. for a year, I'd go to jail. Yeah, for I a think year. so too. Yeah. Like you have to put mayo on everything that you would consume. Oh, I'd yeah. go to prison. I'd probably go to jail I'd go too. To prison. I'd throw up every day. <laughs> We'd all just go to jail because we didn't want to eat man. <laughs> the mayo I mean, police are coming, fine, guys. Yeah. You're done for. So is this a? I assume it's a carry venge, right? And a support Sven. I mean, they could go. I think so. You you can't have a Sven and a Gyro, right? Io would feel like he needs to be on both of them, and then like yeah. the one he's not on is just useless as hell. Like it has to be support. I, I some sweet like aura this. gaming though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is old school ish. Well, sports it's, it's, it's such a good school. venge game too against Monkey King and Mag. Yeah. This is the swap on either hero when they cast their ults is going to be big. Yeah. Do you think the stock value of Vengeful Spirit Wait, is middle? going up based on the changes? I haven't seen it at all, so I would say yes. But it's like always gets the spirit. Yes. And it lasts till it dies or mm. she comes back to life and gets that swap back, right? The, the problem is just the lack of uh, lane shove. And you're not a very strong laner either. And those are really difficult to deal with. 
Hmm. Like, as far as weaknesses go. Do you put BM middle versus DK? It's Ghostic on it, but... Huh. Yeah, I, I like that pick a lot from Alliance. You have another double stun target for the Grimstroke ult. Uh, it's a nice usage of Empower. It makes you not worthless when you're out of DK form. And how do you kill him? If no Pango, like, they have no magical damage. Yeah. It's right. a lot easier to play than a lone druid as well. Not yeah. to say Quickfoot played his lone druid. I mean, it just it's, it's a lot easier to just, you go, hey, take a tower, hey, gank a lane, push yeah. his five. You only have to control the one hero, not the two, and yeah. he seemed to have some struggles with that. Well, Slayer's on the spend, so it certainly oh, looks like no. a support spend. Yep, it is. So that, it's going to be a mid-venge. I think you put the Beastmaster mid, but we'll see. I kind of like this no pango draft. I think you're right about the physical damage versus like this DK armor, mm -hmm. but... Overall, no Pango have this really high tempo lineup. I think they can be really aggressive, really good initiators. I worry for Alliance, especially mm -hmm. after seeing that first game. I, I, after the first game, I just think no Pango is better. Like, yeah, they just looked. They better. understood how to play. Like, I, I see game. this Rasta having a really tough game. Yeah, I mean, both teams have the same issue though, right? Where they're they have ways to deal with the physical damage, and they don't really have any magical sustained damage. You no. give a Grimstroke roster, right? But they're the ones that are going to feed this game. And if I'm no Pango, I take those guys out. I don't actually know where the damage from Alliance comes yeah. from until the Mega Lake game. Especially after the Magnus nerfs. Like, you can't just super snowball, go jungle, like, level 4 with two points in power on a, one of your cores or something. A lot of pressure on Koikva to play this DK right. I think even though it's it's easier to execute than Lone Druid, there's still that delicate window of DK where if you fail a Tier 2 or Tier 3 push and you lose that momentum, mm -hmm. DK can go from God Tier to yeah. ma very manageable, I guess, so to speak. Yeah. And that's what I'm, I'm worried about. You can't make those mistakes. Whereas Lone Druid, he can he can recover farm a little bit. You know, He's a power farmer. He's a power pusher. Yep. All right. Well, with that, it looks like we have a game underway. So, Scott, if you wouldn't mind throwing us into the action, it'd be appreciated. And send us over to our boy David. Looking up, up with the obs. David, try not to miss anything, okay? Yo. I can't believe it's not well, the summit. We're loading it. Can I have one word? <laughs> why the hell is Mischief in the game? I have no idea. Wow, oh, yeah. yeah, that, that, okay, we could talk about that is, for a not while. The invulnerability. I understand, okay, it's, it's cute and all that, but how do you actually give a hero a, I mean, there's a first blood, should be, maybe not. Uh, yep, see first ya. blood. How do you give a hero a zero skill I'm skill so that gives you invulnerability? <laughs> what? Wait, how does that make sense? Um, I actually don't we, get it. We had a discussion about this on a couple of the epicenter panels. Uh, the heroes that seem like super strong literally just got free abilities from Ice Frog. So if you think back to the last patch, right, it was Necro. Because Necro yeah. just had his Q now suddenly was two skills. Yeah. And in this patch, you think of all the ones that are just dumb, right? Monkey King with Mischief. PA got a free, oh. like, invisible what on her hell? blur. Yeah, no one even um, knows. What was the other one? There were like two or three more. I don't remember. Either. Can't even think of him now. But point is, if you just get free abilities, oh it's going to be... Brewmaster, I guess, kind it's of. Be a yeah, that was another good example. Alliance are frisky at the start of this one. They're looking to go for two kills now in a gyrocopter possible. Now he turns around with the uh -oh. rapid fire action, and they're going to get the takedown of Boxy. The classic turnaround. You that got this big sandwich. It looks good. Then you realize your stomach's not big enough. That was sick too. How Nave like did it. He went around the hill so the Q only hit onto the Magnus. Oh, was too good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, favorite sandwich? I like I Cubans know. are really good. I like the hot turkey melt. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I, I there's something to be said about a quality basic bagel sandwich, you know, mm. either Taylor ham such or bacon, Coast, egg, and cheese. Like, oh, dude, Long no. Islandy thing to say. Oh, it's yeah. going to be hard to go for breakfast. There's literally a bagel place, like a three-minute drive. Me and Jack went to every morning. Oh, really? It's like it's just one guy. He owns it. It's open for like five hours a day. It's really dude, good. Why, we'll go. Can we make that a daily thing? Dude, go for it. As long as you're here on time for your well, gas, I don't care what you do. You, <laughs> will the summit pay for it, though? Uh, we'll have to talk about that after. <laughs> we need breakfast what? sandwiches. Listen, this is. Have you seen the banner? Have you seen the graphics? What do you think we're what working with here, Kyle? You goddamn diva! Jesus Christ! Yeah, oh Kyle's a, like. <laughs> you see me? I'm like you know, real down Sorry. to earth, real white collar, blue collar kind of guy. We have yeah. Kyle over here and like wi wears pinstripe suits. My shit, masseuse better be there the second I walk through the door for my cat. This is this is such an American concept. Like th this, you what, know what food? this is? We, no. <laughs> <laughs> here I am, just a working man, going up to my boss. You know the BTS cabal, and there they are. You know smoking. Fine cigars. Take Are you serious right, right now? No Sorry, there isn't cigar. enough room <laughs> in the budget for you to get a holiday raise. In fact, we're going to uh. need you to come in on Christmas Eve. And you know, where's your loyalty? You know, think of what we've done for you. We've paid your. We've given you paychecks. 
I'm so sorry you have to go through this right now. We're going to, you know, <laughs> Grant, we've got to unionize. Dude, I'm, I don't oh, need no. a bagel sandwich. I'm, I regret bringing it up, actually. <laughs> sorry we had to pull you to come sit on this couch to talk Dota. I'd rather eat a Shin Ramen, but yeah. No, I don't know. I think my favorite sandwich, I mean, people are going to be haters. <laughs> people are going to be haters. I'll go to Subway, and I will oh. get the foot-long spicy Italian, add bacon, add double bacon, double meat, get jalapenos, get the lettuce. We're in a good spot. You're, you're, that's that's like acid a reflux deluxe, dude. <laughs> no. Oh, dude, have you have you guys ever ate at Witch Witch? No. no. They we Me and my friend went. It was $44 for two of us because we got the wicked. <laughs> it's seven meats, five cheeses. What the hell? Whatever you want, Witch Witch. And it was 40 We're like, holy shit, we're not coming back. That's the biggest <laughs> Kona sandwich I've ever heard of. It was $22 a sandwich. I'm like, this is really good, but tw that's four meals pretty much for one meal. <laughs> that's like a, what is it called? Like the escargot, like in yeah, a full sandwich. Dude, Jesus yeah, Christ. Dude, it was something. I don't know. I, I'm a roast beef and Swiss kind of guy. Oh my God. That's a classic there right there. Again. Isn't that mm. just like Philly cheesesteak, but not? You know, when Slacks goes to Subway, he gets just meat on bread. No what? vegetables, <laughs> no cheese, no sauce. It's just, <laughs> it's just bread <laughs> and then meat. What you I, should what? see the people behind the counter. They're like, is this some kind of a YouTube prank? Are you going <laughs> to throw it back at me? Are you actually going to buy this, <laughs> sir? What, what, Dude, you, is he literally going to die to a Sven like solo? No, he's good. Uh, uh, are we talking about, what about condiments, though? No, he said no sauce. No condiments, dude. Just That's so straight. Dry. That's just such a dry sandwich. I, yeah, I know. I, it's, I thought he was making fun of me the first time I ordered it for him. Oh, I got a bit of rocket. trouble. That was so good. Run That's enough to guy? save him. Good skewer back as well from Boxy. Look, the key to any sandwich is it's got to be, it's got to have moistness, okay? Yeah. It, it's got to have, like, that moistness. It, it should be panini press, too. Like, you need a <laughs> hot sandwich. It should be hot. Oh, it should Quiznos be wet, argument. And it should taste delicious. Yep. One, going back to something you said 15 minutes ago, Mag also got right a shockwave pullback. That was like, yeah. that was free. That's like, he just got a free thing. So oh, yeah. Uh, but how much is it? It's good. It's, it's just really, a little bit. What it's it, like good, though. It tops TPs, 50? right? No. I believe it tops TPs. Am I just completely wrong? Or should wrong. I Depending not on how that? the new mechanics work. Like with it's just free, though. It's literally, it, not even the fact that it even if it pulls back oh. a little, it stops them from running. I forgot. It's, big. it's yeah. been banned all these games, My but Centaur. Nice that's really. a perfect example oh, of the Ice Frog effect. Like, spell. hey, you keep return, all right? But we're also going to give you this spell that gives you, you know, 400 damage at level 7. Yeah. Because that's balanced. Dude, uh, retaliate's awesome. Stunt. Oh, ho, oh this oh, oh, oh. That was so much freaking skill. <laughs> the skill point he used to get that invulnerability, that was not. If he actually lives from this, I will be a legit oh, All right, they still get him, though. Thank God. I actually root against Bunk King. I say it normally. Make well, it a twofer as they follow with the stun and oh, a couple of right clicks. This is Beastmaster Sven. What's happening? Dude, they like think they can kill him. And Bullies, then you just have dude. two guys with like nine look, armor. Look at the CS. Like, you're He's winning the lane. Can't you just chill? Dude, middle lane, this Venge is a little bit behind, but I don't think you care, right? Venge isn't a hero you expect to win a laning phase with. I think DK is not the easiest matchup either. Yeah, yeah you you can't apply any pressure, threaten kills ever. Yeah. Oh, the gyro is really suffering though. He is. Also, did you did I get turned down by production? Because all of a sudden I like, I do, it sounds way different. I can't myself. hear myself. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well. Quick, nah, that's fine. Everyone in chat probably says you're too loud, yeah. even if you're not, and we'll just turn it yeah, down. Yeah, because, you know, Twitch chat, we can't expect them to control their own volume. You know, I think a lot of people in chat were probably arguing that mayonnaise is the key to making a sandwich ideal oh moistness. <laughs> stop, stop, <laughs> stop. It's kind of true, though. Wait, what are though. they? Oh, they're going the for this, huh? he didn't get oh, Nice off. shackle. Is it enough to at least get the return kill? Oh. Will they get it? Will Boxy, will the name be in vain? Yes, he will. He Sorry. has another. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shockwave? No? Oh, man. Wow. I mean, it's a I, little gold lead for Alliance, but, like, you, those kills are so big. Like, slowing down a gyro IO lane mm -hmm. actually means so much. Like, mm -hmm. once IO hits 15, you gyro just becomes almost yeah. unstoppable, it feels. And they really don't have any answers to the gyro in this game. Like, no. usually you've got. I don't know, they have no big anti team fight. I like seeing Wyverns come out. Um. I still think Slark is a great counter to Io Gyro, too. Yeah. And that hero's a lot better. I mean, that yeah. hero got another one, right? He just yeah. gets a permanent agility when he gets a yep. kill now. 
You're right. They did just add a bunch. Yeah. They just like oh, added a skill into a skill. Yeah. Like, they didn't even buff it. They just added another. It's one. so weird how that they decide weird. that because there's some heroes that like just get nothing. I, I, yeah. As a support player, I look over. It's like disruptor. It's like Storm you're really gonna spirit. give him. You're gonna give him just nothing. Like he's just gonna be like uh, the no. thunder strike does dude. 50 more damage. I played really? the ability draft yesterday though. Oh my god, the dude had thunder strike and the doom pat like E, right? Oh. I just got shit on. Wait, and it's what? 9 second cooldown, 480 oh. damage on maxed out thunder strike. Yeah. It you just spam it. I think that's the new build on Disruptor. It's a core. Uh, I would do that just to harass, of course, in the lane. The Thunderstrike is so damn annoying. It's it's the worst. Dude, I haven't seen any Disruptor since the past. Nah, that's a hero he's that dead. no one has mentioned. What? Right. Why, though? Doesn't, Doesn't he do still damage. have enough utility? You don't clear creep waves. You don't do damage. You have no okay. escape so mechanic. So if, if you're not finding kills, you are accomplishing nothing. Yeah, okay. So I a lot of pressure. TP down bottom for that? I'm surprised. I mean, it gives your gyro some room, but... Is this good room? Doesn't he just die here? Yeah, they can get him right now yeah. uh -oh. rather easily. I don't even think they need the three of them. I really don't think. I think they could just have two. That was a weird rotation for Mayo. It gives them a kill, but I think it doesn't achieve anything for you. Whoa. Or does it? How you doing? Does he do damage? Can they do this, though? Yeah, this is a support. Sven. The orbs! Uh, not nearly enough. They and turn it around. Fine. Look, at he takes no damage. Yeah, Sven actually does. Well, space. Yeah, that is a CIS thing. Just supports fan. I wonder why. It's like so it, it. It's a. It's a Russian hero. Like Sven is actually a guy named Vladimir. Yeah. I thought his name was. Sven. I'm serious. In the lore. <laughs> I his name was it, it's like the origin story for Captain America, but the guy was born in St. Petersburg. I'm not even kidding. I, I finally watched that movie, the first Captain America, when he goes from like scrawny twig boy to yeah. like buff. Dude. That was, was impressive like, how they did that. Yeah. They did I liked it. I really liked that movie yeah. actually. I, think, I, I still think that Captain America, like Winter Soldier, like that. That's still one of the best Marvel movies. Like yeah, I, I like it. it this it, the universe has gotten so big. Like even Infinity War, Radiant's right? Like the, it's hard to follow. The plot's too big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, now it's just multi. They have multi universes now. It's at that point. Yeah, they stole the X Men. Wow. Thing. Like the Spider Man yeah. universe and the Marvel universe and then the X Men universe. Dude, Ghost of already has a, a nine minute Vlad's. Yikes. That's pretty good. Especially because he only has 36 CS. Yeah, it's because he skipped all the build up. And he went the right build. 2 0 1, baby. Yeah, you don't need phase. You don't need, like, any of this when you go the creep build, which I prefer. Because you just stay on map a lot stronger. Like, you don't leave this lane. Yeah. And you're going to play around the mobility of your other heroes. But oh. Beastmaster can just shove the entire game. Go stick what do you th I don't think you should be leeching this experience, though. I actually think this experience is a big deal. The Beastmaster Hawk, what did it change now? Does it not move? You can't control it. You, you like, summon it to a location, and it gives a hell of a lot more vision. Okay. And so there's no micro component. And it's no. tankier. Yeah. It's much tankier. 750 HP. Wait, wait, out. wait, wait. And armor, right? It has decent yeah. armor. Yep. I'll get back to that. Dude, they they get their approach. this DK cannot He's die. So you good. have to get a big ulti from Mag. There Whoa! It is. Oh, but there it is. Slide in set. And there's no more follow-up. And it's gone. Oh, they get the DK taken down. As you mentioned, not enough firepower to follow it up. So here comes No Pango with advantage in numbers yep. to roll on through. I, think I just don't like the draft. There's no follow up for RP. Like, they have nothing yeah. on top of it. And it's not like you have a hyper. Like, what carry? Like, sure, Monkey King, if he's that's there, might it, do yeah. a bunch of damage. But that's still not like a burst in RP type carry. Yeah. I think the biggest thing you brought up, like you always talked about, how the the better team always brings more people, and it feels like no Pango, right? They they've just brought more people. The monkey, they see the monkey king farming top. They yeah. know they'll just take an easy fight yeah. here. Mm -hmm. how, this feels like the same story as last game, where Alliance just like take these team fights with a numbers disadvantage, and yep. you know they, they cast their spells, but. Like, this is a real Dota team. Alliance is also caught in this weird window where their two supports are without ultimate right now. Yeah. So they can't fight. They can't really push. If they get initiated on, Rasta and Grimstroke just fall over to the stuns and supports of uh, no panko. That was like a perfect time to take a fight like that. Yeah, the oh. tomes just came up, so they better fix that. But okay. What's it? Make you pay for this. Well, quick, quick kill. Even better, and now they'll steal his stack, too. Oh, man. No Pango this just taking over the map. It's actually a sick Wisp lineup, if you think about it, because all three of the other heroes of the lineup can set up kills on Relo. So yeah. it's like it, you can just play lanes and farm. Like, the Io Gyro have such a free game, and they play around, like, whatever organic opportunity opens up thanks to their teammates. What is Wisp build now? Does he get that locket item? I know Urn's always fantastic. I don't think I've still, seen locket. I think it would be good. You, you but get mech sometimes yeah. now, too. 
Mech is great Mech's now, Mech's really imagine. good this game. Yeah. But it's really just Greaves, because Greaves now has uh -oh. a 35 second Radiant cooldown. Like, that's what? absurd. Yeah. And it's still free mana, I'd imagine. Yeah. Here that's we go. Nice snipe right there. Is it, though? Like, that that's the, that's what I would call a good death. He's in the right place of the map. True. His teammates are hitting towers. It's true. Three heroes are killing him. They blow an ultimate. Radiant's like, th tower. that is the sort of thing Radiant's that top-tier top teams don't care well. about, because you preserve the status quo, acquire objectives, and you spent gold before you died, so whatever. You're right. If he didn't use the wards, there would be a good kill. If they got the tier one bottom with the wards, yeah. you're probably right. Attack. Right? Because they, they I mean, they might still Radiant's get the tower. tower. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. so. Yeah, if they had the wards, they for sure get it. You're right. They thought the Beastmaster was tankier than he was with yeah. the flads, I no, think. It, I really think that Dota players should be playing some artifact. Because you get used to the concept of your heroes die. They're supposed to die. It's die part of the game. It's about making sure they die for a reason. Exactly. With a cause. And you're also doing stuff in other lanes. Radiant exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Look at Dakota. All right, here we go. An approach from Nopango into the big bad Roche pit. Yeah. Get it, this right? is all set up by the Beastmaster's death. He bought the medallion right before he perished. And now it's go time. Oh, that's going to uh -oh. do a lot of damage, though. Is it? Oh, they oh, swap they him back. Swap him right <laughs> into the, the lion's den. God damn. And Alliance just seemed disconnected. The, uh, the rest of their teammate, uh, like, Ross is bottom. He still has no wards. Roche is down. It's such a heartbreaker, though, because the blink just came out on the Magnus there. Yep, yep, no, no. no. Almost a little window. <laughs> I hear your Trent Canada oh, coming out right dude, there. Dude, I've been watching Fargo. It's so bad, dude. I can't. Oh, that's funny. Talking to Trent and watching Fargo is a You're double whammy. You sound like a Canadian that. over there. What oh, jeez. Yeah. Is Fargo a Canadian show? Uh, I know about that Minnesota. gas station show. Yeah, it's got that Minnesota talk right yeah. there. But it's not even just that like accent. It's the way they, oh, geez. Well, you know, there and the then and okay. And the, there's so many filler words. Half their vocabulary is filler it's, words. It's funny. The same stuff happens in uh, like Dota lands where you'll see all, uh, over a couple months, the entire community Dyer's will adopt like certain slang tap. words. Yep. Like Pod ways saying stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it used to be like, uh, remember when saying things were lit was like a meme? Uh -huh. yeah. Now it's like an Ironic thing. You just say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I've had people like, "Hey, we get lit the after party tonight." Like, oh, you know, it, man. Like, it's, it's like, true. what am I doing? What happened to me? It's true. Just, I mean, even like, yeah, just, just, like boys, right? E.G. Mm -hmm. calling himself the boys. Everyone started Radiant's using it after that. Is under attack. We're right. in our own ecosystem. We're all just boy. a bunch yeah. of sheep, gang. Yeah. But I mean, that's every. That's that's, that's, every. that's a cycle of generations yeah, going on and on and on. Only Dude, back to burning bras. Fidget spinners were only pilot for three months. That was bullshit. I thought fidget spinners were the future. <laughs> I, I never got into <laughs> fidget like spinners. Silly bro. bands. <laughs> yeah, silly bands were probably for like a year, if that. Not even, dude. It's three months. You're the right. attention span of society. What about has dabbing? Shrank. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that shit's still fresh, son. I no, still hit dab on the daily. No, it's the I'm hitting double dabs right now. Double dabs. Whatever the 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 Fortnite dancing. Did you see that finally getting sued? by like Millie too lightly or whatever for his dance. Uh, no way, ridiculous. are they really? Yeah. I don't know if it'll, the guy will win, but good. Great. Did you guys see? So yeah. how about Fortnite, right? They had this huge like 200K skirmish like yesterday, right? And they released the Infinity Blade. Oh like, yeah. They patched it like seven hours before. It one hit kills people. Yeah. In a 200K <laughs> tournament, you literally <laughs> cannot die. Oh and they my just released God. it. He just Is, are so, you insane? You know the sword from Halo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was like vaguely, more. Yeah. So you know how you could like leap, right? Yeah. You can do that, but like you fucking fly through the air. Vertically and yeah, it's and funny. And if you hit people's like base structures, it makes everything fall down. So you're killing people with fall damage. It's just <laughs> absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. He's he just done. Dead. Yeah, he Turn did. around. Commits the wards. Oh. He gets stunned. Oh, he Swap traps into the wards, though. Oh. Taste of <laughs> <He's laughs> your own medicine, dude. Stuck. Oh no, Mary hey. Poppins hey. style. He gets it out. And then we'll finish him off. Well, I just realized you actually oh, wow. could trap him in there because he can't kill the wards himself, oh. and you just leave him can't alive. Deny That's him. actually hilarious. That's so <laughs> cool. They didn't do that, but they could. That's clever. Wait, is he level 15 on Wisp already? No, no right? He just got 10, but what's you the, get the what's EXP What's the cooldown on Venge Swap? Uh, oh, it's two charges or something? Two oh, charges, swap yeah. back. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Hit. Nice setup of the RP, but they get the IO. They get that IO. They need more though to make this really value for Alliance right now. Yeah, they get two for none. That's not bad. I think I'll take it. Oh no, unless the rocket. Ah, he missed it with the mischief. But not enough. Here Come comes on. the uh, oh my mighty God. power of the gyrocopter and company a just wrecking them. I like how you, if you see Beastmaster and Sven, you just run. Like, they actually will not die. You might get the gyro, but you're going to die to everyone else. Oh, the call from above. 
This yep. game's over, folks. Yep. Dude, yeah, that bottom lane. Good. I actually think that's Fen Beast Master Lane one in the game. Like yeah. that's how they play. Hundred percent. Dual dude. melee Fail. lane doing yeah. so much it's work. It's just so tank, right? You can't kill him ever. It feels like Warcry is such an insane spell as well now. What's the cooldown duration on it? They changed that. It's I like forgot. Eight minutes. Yeah, Twenty four second seconds. Tender. And it's up ten, so fourteen second downtime. Yeah, but they buffed it though. How much wait? What is the uh, Active shield. Oh, it's a shield health now. Wow, okay, I did not realize that. I it didn't either, Radiant actually. I thought it was still armor. Is that dispellable? Yeah. Dispellable, yes. Yeah, okay. Interesting. But what dispels it, really? That's the thing. Yeah. No, nothing in this game. Or, well, Oracle's now definitely a harder counter. Yeah, Oracle's, Oracle's a good underpicked. hero, too. Oracle yeah. is just Oracle's underpicked. underpicked. I could go on about Oracle. He could just, he's just no, underpicked. I agree, He though. just suffers because he can't shove lanes. That's the big issue. Yeah, I mean, a lot of supports, though, have that. They just don't have that laning factor to them a bit. But you just got to see how much you value that utility later on. I mean, I would make the argument Coddle is the same way, to not the best laner either. But now he's got all this mid-game utility to work with. Damn. I think once the DK falls behind like this, this game gets so difficult. All right, catch on Grim. Supports Ven, and of course, with the help of the eventual spirit. How do you pronounce uh, Venge's name? Is it Siler or is it Sailor? I think it's Sailor. I feel like I should have I thought it was Keelar. <laughs> oh, Keelar. Is he dead? Oh, wow. Oh, yes. I love. Dude, like I that uh, Klingon the Morph Bangs. Yeah. I, I think a support gyro could work if gyro had a mana pool. Gyro's no mana pool. Yeah. I, d I never realized until I tried playing it. I used two Qs, two Rockets. You're out of mana in the lane. Can you itemize around it, though? Is no. that like something you could do with uh, like Sanj Kaya? I don't think you're not going to farm if you're a support. That's the problem. He is no, so no Pango. They have this like super crazy tempo lineup. They're taking all the towers and running around as a team. Yep. They haven't Radiant. made the same mistake Alliance did. They still could. Don't get us wrong. They could just stop also. pushing. But no yeah. Pango. I've been watching these guys at like a lot of tournaments. They did the main cast event to start yep. the year. Like they have looked good and they are continuing to improve. Like they hungry. They beat VP in the CIS qualifier for that top spot. But when I call Ghostic the best player in this game, and I said not. they have a chance to win game one, and you flank Na me. Naive is nuts, and they're no, four positions. There's no way nuts. Ghostic's not better than Naive. Just creating discussion. Are you, you if are everyone on, agreed with each no, other, we wouldn't bring up good something. points. No, Naive. Ghostic is by far ask, the best player in that no, team. No, no, he's ask not. Ask who? Why should no, I ask other not. people when I can watch replays myself and understand the gameplay? You, I'm not going to go ask Puppy because he watched one game, bro. You can't even pronounce the player. It's Naive. First off, it's, it's naive. not naive. It's naive. naive. Dude. It's naive. It's naive. You so are naive. We were there at Epicenter when they said it was naive. We're going to have to call it They lied. The Russians lied. Yes. They, lied. they were laughing about you later. Did they? Yes. I feel they don't even know who I am. Well, they, they called you Gregory. Gregory. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> great, great Greg. <laughs> All right. Someone get called great Huffy Greg. again right now. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bike did you have? I didn't have a Huffy. That was expensive people bikes. A Huffy? Or yeah. what? Wasn't it like a Mongoose, like the, the big bike? Yeah. Mongoose time? was the big one. Yeah. That was like, it was the I same with Razor scooters. Shit. If yeah. you had a Mongoose or a Razor. Oh. If you had like the pegs cool. on your wheels, no, you were yeah. fucking so cool, yeah, bro. I wasn't into bikes, dude. I was a skateboarder. Oh. You're so rad. See you later, Boxy. So get this, right? So the, the epicenter event was in like this airplane hangar, right? Tons of space. And they got us scooters. Not like, really. Straight up regular scooter. It was so much fun. But why? Just cuz. So you could get around, dude. The so you could scoot on the set. The logic they used to like get the budget for it was like the bathroom was pretty far away. What so the players the in between games would take the scooter to the bathroom. What happens if they fall and break their <laughs> arm? <laughs> that, you know? Did you guys sign a liability? <laughs> <Is there> an <laughs> insurance liability? No. Uh, well, sorry, that's on you guys. <laughs> what? You brought the scooter, dumbass. I mean, that's why we like we. Would love to just get like a big trampoline and shit like that for the summit, but yeah. we can't trust the players aren't gonna go out there and like break their neck when they're hey. You know, speaking of watching. Greg, I remember the water slide summit. I was here for that. Was that summit five? Yeah, I think? it All was right. a hit. The grass though definitely suffered afterward. Oh yeah, the grass <laughs> is never the same. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> I was I was there when he first had that idea. The little light bulb came on. He was like, dude, what if we got a Classic water slide? Greg, and then and he looked it up and went, it's only two hundred dollars. I think I could sell LD on this. And LD. Well, we got it. We had some moments. Ooh. There was video footage. It seemed like the nobody broke an arm. Nobody hurt, hurt themselves. <laughs> so, you guys ever gone down a water slide without water? That no. sounds like the worst thing ever. Sounds I'd rather like have a spoonful of mayo. Sounds like a rash Ooh, waiting to happen. I don't know about that. You'd now rather go down. I would rather, rather go down a lot <laughs> than to eat mayo. <laughs> oh my There's God. not a lot of things. Whoa! The double trap. Isn't he BKB'd, though? Yeah, he is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Isn't he BKB'd? Wait a minute. This isn't going to work But he was all. still trapped. He was. I'm oh, glad no. he had Sanjin Yasha queued up. I'm glad he went BKB. He's still getting it. But this game's over. I mean, this yeah. is like exactly what we thought was going to happen with these two supports. They're both yep. actual paper. Yep. 
And oh, get the swap. Nice. Oh, Wiggity nice. whoop. They're Swaps owning. him back. They're just and owning. now in trouble. Quikma, <laughs> there's the roll, and there he goes. <laughs> Why did he buy Radiance, dude? I really don't understand. That's every DK now. No, but it's just Quikma, though. He just buys Radiance and everything. He does. But that's every DK build now. It, that really is the build on DK? Yeah. You have straight Jamil Radiance? Jamil goes at TCNC. I mean, at least in NA, I assume most places. And I can see it being situationally good, but I, yeah, how is it to play in this game? I, I don't... Hey, I don't know what here. they wanted from Let's the see if they can loaded. Somehow <laughs> amount a defense here, but it looks like no Pango or the inside going to be doing the, uh, the the racks already. There's no techies caught on the other team. You actually have, like, no uphill defense. You have a Rost and a Grimstone yeah. who has a Q. Boom, here we go. Oh. Can Alliance make something out of it? Oh. Quick swap oh. after the RP. He skewers back in. There's the stun coming they're out from Monkey no King. Damage. Here comes the ulti. This is everything they got. If they don't do any damage, they're not going to do any ever. And Dude. it looks like that's all but it. Alliance right. fall flat Dude. on their face. That was and sick. it's gone. You know that, that swap, he literally like 0.2 cents Radiant's on the ink swell. That would have stunned everyone. He swapped him out of stunning everyone. That was just, that's, I mean, they probably would have won either way, but it was slick. Yeah, that was a great, this is just a great example. I think No Pango is going to dumpster this entire tournament. Really? After watching this. Alliance was the only yeah. team I thought would be able to challenge them. Huh? They've dropped some games to Empire Hope, but like they just look like they're on another level. They dominated the CIS qualifier. Like we did those games. Like they are... They are nasty. And if you look at their itemization, like the raw stats, like look at Ghost Stick. No Blink Dagger, no Phase Boots Force Staff, just Vlad's Solar Force. Everyone has spent their gold to just give them as much raw stat survivability damage as possible. Yeah. And they're just like, yo, what's up? What would you say their weakness is on the No Pango side? Uh, Sailor has a tough time. Uh, this is the sort of hero he's got to be put on, right? He's playing this mid venge more of a playmaker. Uh, looking to do things around the map, not, you know, he's not a tinker. He's not a storm. He's not going to be that guy for you. I think he's comparable to Limp, if you're thinking about, like, an NA player. So he's limited in his pool, but he's really, really good if you give him uh, that responsibility in a match. Yeah, I think it's just being consistent, right? Because they do still they, – they lose games like Empire Hope to Team uh -huh. Spirit. I think Team Spirit will give them a run. I don't think Team Spirit's a better team than them, but uh -huh. they play each other so much. They, they lose yeah. a lot to them for some and reason. I don't know why. Cinder and Stack. Yeah, we can't count we them know. out. Dude, hey. last – last almost feels like last second replacement yeah. for the, what was Gambit. I used to love Afro Moosh back when he played in SCA. Yeah. We'll see what he's about. I just haven't I seen that good. team in a while. I thought he was good. I, we yeah. just haven't seen him, right? Yeah. Like, they've been losing open qualifiers, but they, they have, like, the players to do it. But, I don't yeah. know, no Pango. This game, they just look on a whole new level, right? Alliance has gone to the last major. They're qualified to this next major. and They just got made like, – they, yeah. they just got – Handled. Yeah, I was going to say they looked like something. Then I was going to say handled. I just couldn't really say it, so thank you. They looked handled. They yeah. looked handled, yes. Yeah, Very handled. It'd be interesting. I, I'm looking forward to seeing no Pango against teams that also draft comparable late games. This series, both games, it seemed like they had better late games. All they had to do – the second one, they – had a high tempo draft, but the first game all they had to do was stall out, and then all of a sudden Terra Blade was king of the castle, and it was a relatively easy one. So late game decision making, still something to prove, maybe. Looking yeah, forward. but two different play styles mm -hmm. for two games, and yeah. I think that's a good, yeah. it's a great feature to have I, for a team. Yeah, I like what uh, the observers doing right now. You know, it's the the item progression. Yeah, sure, the late game is something to do with it, but the name of the game right now is these cheaper items because there's so many of them and they're yep. so valued. Drums is cheaper, more value. Veil is cheaper. Um, Mech. Vlad's is cheaper. Yep. Mech is better. And yeah. if you have these items spaced out amongst your team, and the other team doesn't, especially in a game like this where it's all about physical damage, Vlad's Solar Crest represents like a 16 armor swing. Mm -hmm. That's insurmountable. That is directly equivalent to Wait. a 5% increase per armor. I point thought the in new Solar HP. Crest removed attack speed. It does. Yeah. It, it does a lot. It's, it's like a, it's like a bloodlust, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, it does for Basically, the medallion. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. better. Like all Dude, of these cheaper items are better. How was yeah. I just realized how was Beastmaster that farmed at twenty two minutes? Because he bought like good items. Because Solar farmed. Crest is expensive now. That costs yeah. a freaking ulti orb. That's well, shit they took towers too. They did. I just didn't. I don't know. I mean, he also he had a lot of well. kills, right? He was two zero and one at the very beginning. Mm. End of the game four two and eleven. Huge amount of assists. He never left the lane. I mean, when was Too Ghost Stick not farming or fighting that yep. game? And that's like the name of the game right now is you keep spending your gold so that on death you would lose none. And you just push lanes and then kind of organically Good. shift towards heroes or objectives. No. But like if you're always on map, you're always applying pressure. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to do that when you have a Wisp Gyro to play around. The Sven, I thought, also, uh, it was a nice pick. Just and I a tank felt like, boy. Yeah. 
Like, just double brace or boots. He just did work. Do it phase boots. Now that they give you armor, it actually, yeah. like, on, on the tanky heroes, it feels better. Like, maybe you have phase boots on a mid hero, mm -hmm. like, ah, it's worse. But, like, on these heroes, you're like, this is yeah. great. Five armor? Yeah. Sure. And the attack speed, too. Nice. Yeah. Great it, for strength heroes. It's just perfect for anything. Because there, there was a lot of strength heroes that they really just wanted attack speed mm -hmm. and armor. And you had no real easy way to get it was yeah. the problem. Like, where are you going to buy a casual buckler? So. No one did that except you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that concludes our first series of the day. We got four more to go, four oh. more best of twos. Up next, we got Happy Guys, which is yes. the Cinderin stack. We're going to be going no against Pango. Snell Pango, who, All are, right. yeah. who are warmed up and ready, so that hey. should be a doozy. We have a lot more action to come. Shouts real quick to GG Bet and, of course, the official audio partner of BTS, which is Sennheiser. We'll see you soon, guys, after our small break.